Okay, today's lesson is going to be how to make a stamp. Uh, what we're going to show is how to organize it, how to use a rectangle tool, give it the proper look with a distort tool and also a zigzag tool. We're going to put a picture on it, we're going to put a name on it, text on it, and, uh, and we're going to color that text and give it an overall uh, good look of what a little stamp should look like in Adobe Illustrator. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is open Illustrator. And the first thing I want you to start to think about is just setting up your new document. Uh, we're just going to call this uh, My Stamp or New Stamp or Stamp 1. You can name it whatever you would like. So we'll go to New. And we'll just call this Obama Stamp because we're going to make it with o President Obama's picture on it, one of the ones that uh, of the stamps that you were going to choose from. We're going to make sure it's a letter size document, portrait, right here in the orientation, 8.5 by 11. And say OK. We're going to zoom out, so hold down your Command key and Minus key. We'll zoom out just a little bit. And then we'll also do the same with uh, putting up our rulers. And Command R there. And then we'll go to the origin. And I always like to set my rulers at zero on this corner. OK. So you'll see now we have a zero here and a zero on this ruler. So if we wanted to measure anything, we can. It's there. It's always good to have rulers on. All right, so let's go ahead and select our rectangle. It is going to have a white fill with a black outline or black stroke. And we're just going to make this, you know, uh, about two inches wide and maybe an inch tall, roughly. Uh, okay, so we'll just make a nice little rectangle. And I'm going to thicken the stroke, so we'll take this up to two. And now we're going to go to our effect menu, scroll down to our distort and transform, and uh, we're going to go ahead and use the uh, the zigzag tool here. And what you're going to see is some numbers, little scroll button here, little scroll button here. We're going to keep it at absolute, but we're going to make it smooth. Okay, so that when uh, when we see these this line here is going to get some ridges in it, some little ruffles. It's going to be smooth, not pointed edges. We're going to uh, keep this uh, ridges per segment at about a 20 to a 25. So we'll just keep it, we'll make it in the middle there. We'll put it at 23. And we're going to make the size down to about a 0 0.01. Okay? You could type that in yourself if you want, but we're just going to go ahead and hit OK. And there you go. You can see that we've made a nice little uh, outline for a stamp. So let's zoom in and see that a little bit better. Okay. I'm actually going to uh, move this over just a little bit. The swatch is here. So it's not quite our way. And so what we're going to do is, now you can see it, it kind of has a nice dressy little look to it. All stamps don't come this way, but for the purpose of this design, we just want to dress this up a little bit and make it look nice. Next, we're going to do a, uh, uh, a drop shadow. So we're going to go to Effect, and we're going to go to Stylize and Drop Shadow. And we're going to set this at 0, 0 0.0, and we'll put a little 3 here. So 0 0.03. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to go, we'll make it a, how about we make it a 5? Uh, 0 0.05. And then we'll leave our blur where it's at. We have black here for the color. We can double click and choose a different color, but we're going to leave it at black for now. Okay, and notice opacity is set at 75 and it says multiply. We'll say OK. And you can see we just got a really nice little uh, shadow there. Now notice the blur on top a little bit. We can get rid of that by um, trimming down our blur. And so we can go back into effect here, stylize and drop shadow, and instead of having such a, a heavy blur, we can make it uh, like a three or a four, and we'll use the same numbers here, and there you go, it's not so blurry. So now you get a, a little nicer, darker blur. Next, we're gonna add our image. I've already saved uh, an, an image from Google Images. I selected the image, opened it up on its internet page, and then dragged it onto my desktop, renamed it, obama.jpg. I'm going to place it. It's rather large. So let's zoom out. Hold down Command-0 on your Illustrator page. So go Command-0. Oh, 
excuse me, I hit the uh, wrong button there, Command and Zero, and now I'm going to put on the Transform tool, and we'll resize our image, and let's zoom back in. And now what we'll do is position this so that it's just inside our little wavy lines. Put on the Transform tool, and then drag that out, and now you're ready to go with your text. Okay, so we're all set there. Now I'm going to get my text tool, and I'm just going to uh, type in, um, I'm going to use Times Roman, uh, and it's just a default font that I'm going to use here, or Times, and I'm going to type in, uh, the. he's the 44th president, so I'm going to go ahead and type in .44. It's black, so let's go ahead and highlight that, what I just did there, and make it yellow. You know what, we're going to get our swatches and use the yellow there. And now you can see that it's in yellow. Let's make it a little bit bigger. It's selected, so I'm just going to make this bold. And I'm going to increase that so it looks nice size so we can see it well. There we go. And I'm going to put that in the bottom right corner so it looks nice. Next, I'm going to uh, use the type tool, vertical type tool. And I'm going to type his name in here. It'll, of course, it'll be yellow, but we can change that. So I'm just going to make Obama. And I'm going to highlight it. Let's make it a nice dark blue so it's sort of presidential looking. And I'm going to have to make this a little bit smaller. And of course, make a capital O there. Highlight your O. Make it a capital O. Let's delete that. Make it a large O. We might even want to make these all large letters. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change these to all caps. Oh, I forgot to put his A on there as well. So we'll make it all caps. Um, let's put his A on there. There we go. So you can have it either way you want. And we will now uh, put where he's from. We'll say Oahu, Hawaii. Oh, and you know what? Let's, uh, let's highlight this right off the bat here. Let's make this a color that we can see. I'm kind of tired of not being able to see it. So make it a nice bright yellow again. And now we'll go ahead and we'll make this... Um, all caps again. A couple of spaces here for Hawaii. And two eyes. And let's make this a little bit smaller. And so we'll just make that appropriate. Now, because he's from Hawaii, let's go ahead and color this. We'll make this red. You know what? Let's get our swatches again. We'll make it uh, a nice red. And then we'll make the A a nice orange. We'll keep this yellow. And then what do we have next? A nice uh, nice green. And then a nice blue. And we'll go with a purple. And then back to red. So we're getting a nice little rainbow effect here in the colors. Because it's the uh, rainbow state. And there we go. We've got a nice little design here. Oh, you know what? We did that wrong. We've got to have orange here. Yellow here. And got to keep our colors in the right order so that they look nicely done. And there we go. We're all finished. Okay. Uh, we could change this right here and make them small letters. But I don't think that looks quite as presidential, so uh, we'll make them all caps and uh, fit that in there. And there you go. There's your there is your stamp. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and save that. At the end, you'll just go ahead and hit File, Save As, and name that. Save it to your desktop. And this is the uh, third one I've done today. So let's go ahead and make that a number three there, so I can save it on my desktop. 
hit save and OK. And that is our lesson there. So now we have a nice little stamp. Uh, I'm going to group everything together. Click and drag your cursor. Select object and group. And now we can put that anywhere we want. We have a nice little 44 cent stamp of Obama. All right. I uh, hope that was a good lesson for you. Uh, look forward to hearing from you. You can find this lesson on YouTube with the MHS Digital Art. And, uh, or email Mr. Yanoska or call me. Ask me for questions in class. I'll help you anything with anything that you need. All right. Thank you. Have a good lesson.